Hey, welcome back to another episode of Camp and Camera. Today, we're going to the Pickett State Park and going to talk a little bit about the teardrop community. Hey, welcome back everyone. We are going to take an overnight camping trip to the Pickett State CCC Memorial Park. Um, CCC stands for the Civilian Conservation Corps. This little park is nestled in the hills of northern Tennessee. Oh, I don't know, probably 15, 20 miles north of Jamestown, Tennessee. Um, it was built back in the 1940s. A lot of history here, just a beautiful little park. Kind of has that old time, old school feel. Um, I was reading the reviews on the internet before I came here and somebody said it kind of had the feel of your dad loads you in the station wagon and takes you on a summer trip and I can get that. So hey let's get into the park and show you what's here. So this shirtless statue is a uh, monument to the 70,000 young men who served in the Civilian Conservation Corps between 1933 and 1942, and Pickett State Park was one of the projects. So if you want to go through the CCC Museum, again, it's just a little stone building, pretty small. Uh, you can go to the Visitor Center, they'll give you a key to go through that. And check out the key, looks like an old time motel key, how cool is that? So not only is this place cool because it's an old CCC museum, but listen to the acoustics in here. The sound is wonderful in these old stone walls. It'd be a great place to play a tune. Sweet room for harmonica. I just filmed it from a distance as to not bother anyone, but Pickett State Park has a sandy beach area and is also popular for kayakers uh, with a man made lake. So I brought some leftover Hoppin' John from home we had earlier in the week. Um, and I live in Tennessee, so I stopped by a local produce stand and I picked up a small, uh, what we know as a Granger County tomato. Granger County, Tennessee is famous for its tomatoes. Somebody told me one time the actual tomato that they grow is a celebrity tomato. I don't know if that's accurate or not. 
but I know that tomatoes from Granger County are wonderful, so I put one of those in there. I chopped up a couple pepperoncini peppers, pickled uh, pepperoncini peppers that I had, and uh, we'll let that stew for a bit. And I'm also brought some leftover Mexican cornbread that I'm just reheating in the pan here. So there we have it, homemade uh, Hoppin' John, heated up with some added ingredients at the campsite. Delicious. All right, so here I am late at night, leaving the campground, unplanned leaving the campground. Um, Oh my goodness, a couple, three hours ago, I had the world's noisiest neighbors move in next to me. They had a flatbed trailer behind their truck, had an aluminum boat on it, and they kept throwing stuff in the boat uh, all evening, just making all kinds of racket. Car doors slamming every, every few seconds, it seemed like. Kids screaming, people talking loud, just dogs barking and squealing. And then I thought, well, you know, eventually they'll kind of calm down and it'll be all right. Oh, no. Then they go into the woods next to me and find a, a dead tree, about a 20-foot tall dead tree, and they drag it across the road in front of me and start chopping firewood. And the chopping goes on and on and on. You can hear the axe. Every time it hit, it would echo through the valley. And finally, it was just... I was getting aggravated to the point. I thought, you know what? Camping is supposed to be peaceful and enjoyable, and I'm not going to camp next to these folks all night. So I just, hey, I've been a teardrop. Takes just a moment to pack up and move on. That's what I'm going to do. So I'm just going to go somewhere else and get me a good night's sleep. So you're probably thinking, what was all that about? Um, yeah, it was a teardrop camping trip to the Pickett State Park that I had high hopes for. And I did enjoy um, the time I was there. I really did. It's a super wonderful park. Um, but you can't help who you're camping next to. And, you know, that was the first time in nine years of camping that anything like that's ever happened. So the odds are, you know, it'll be another nine years. And, you know, you just take the, take the bad with the good. Um, on a positive note, um, I got a survey when I got home about my camping experience at the park. I told them that the, the park was wonderful, lots to do, staff was fantastic. Um, they asked if I had any issues, and I said, well, I had a loud neighbor to the point where I ended up leaving early. Um, you know, no harm, no foul, just, you know, yes, so I'm letting you know. Um, I got a letter back from the park manager and said, hey, I'm sorry for that, here's a refund. I thought that was super cool. They didn't have to do that, and I do plan on going back, but that was very stand-up of them. So if you're ever in the area, check out the Pickett State Park. Um, there are a lot of activities to do that I did not video. Um, I'd planned on videoing the next day that I was there. So obviously there wasn't a day number two, but they have some wonderful hiking trails. Um, here's a couple photographs um, that I took on a previous visit, just my wife and I hiking. Uh, there's a, a, a large overhang, or some people call it a cave, it's called the Hazard Cave. On the other side of the road, there's one called the Indian Rock House. A um, lot of really cool geological features, and the Pickett State Park is considered a dark sky area. Um, so for those astronomy buffs, I think you can go, you know, once a month when there's a new moon or, or basically a no moon. Sky's really dark and you can see the Milky Way with your naked eye, so that's a pretty cool thing to do. But now that we've talked about bad neighbors, let's talk about something positive. And that is the wonderful Teardrop community. So the Teardrop community, um, I, I guess I, I knew that it existed, but I didn't realize how broad that the Teardrop community was until I started this you know, YouTube channel, Camp and Camera, where I'm building the Camp Easy Teardrop. Um, there are just tons of folks out there building and buying teardrop campers and just loving the teardrop lifestyle, whether they're part-timers or full-timers. Um, and I have just had a, an opportunity to meet so many wonderful folks through messages, through Facebook, through the comments on the videos. It has been an absolute delight, and I appreciate that. Um, and, and talking about that, in upcoming episodes of Camping Camera, 
I would like to mention you as part of my episodes. I'd like to showcase something that you have going on in your teardrop journey. If you've got some cool photographs and maybe even a backstory you'd like to share, how about going to my Facebook page, Camp and Camera, just like the YouTube channel name, and send me a PM. Let me know what you have going on. And I'd like to be able to showcase one or two here and there on upcoming episodes. Um, matter of fact, let me go ahead and mention a fellow that I spoke with last night. His name is Michael Neiman from California and evidently he has a back injury at the moment he's he's healing from but while he's down he's watching all kinds of build videos and trying to learn as much as he can so that he can start on his own camper pretty soon and when I got that message last night um, that kind of sealed the deal hey this is something I need to do so I'm putting it out there if you have a cool story you got some cool photos send those to me um, if you don't have Facebook send me a message in, in the uh, your, the comments below I'll find a way to get in touch with you so yeah there we are we went to Pickett State Park we had to leave had a bad neighbor but there's a wonderful community out there so let's leverage that so hey until next time take care we'll see you on the road